It's that time again. Lock your doors, bar your windows, and play pleasant music to any sponge that looks at you the wrong way. This is Goosebumps Horror Town Event Spotlight. Now, it's been a while. So, let me fill you in on what's been going on since we last talked. Yeah, that's a good place to start. There's been a few individuals added to the game. Anyway, what is going on is that I expanded pretty far, and yet for some reason I can't get this to zoom out. It's kind of annoying. But we've added a few new characters, including this rather menacing looking chap. That, ooh, there's more stuff to do. Anyway, he is a witch doctor. And I believe he goes by the name Muglani, or Mr. Muglani. Let me have a look here. Ah, uh, this is what happens when I don't research things ahead of time. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, yeah, I still have a maze. Oh, damn it. Somewhere around here. There he is. Yes, Muglani. I tried to do a spotlight of him, but the footage got corrupted, so... Kinda didn't work out. Also, if you hear some noise in the background of my audio, it's because it's hot as heck outside, and I just don't feel like turning off my AC, even though it's right next to my head. It's doing its job and doing it well. Mr. Mukulani has found his way into the Jones family, or at least has weaseled his way into interfering with their lives. Jordan is his main target. He, oh, sorry, I'm doing too many things at once and not focusing. He comes from the story, uh, let's get to it, how I got my head shrunken. I also have Deep Trouble and Creep from the Deep. Both of these have come from the latest group. Uh, Mugali was the second latest. Yes. From this one I was able to get uh, oh, that pirate that was walking around earlier. And a whole bunch of other things. Sorry. I really should be proper about this. Mugloni gave a whole bunch of voodoo and Haitian inspired items. And this newest character, I cannot remember his name. Like I said, I'm very bad at this. And yet I still do these videos because people still watch them. Long Ben. Long Ben and a series of pirates have also been unlocked. <sighs> I am so disorganized today, I just have a lot to do, but... This new event... Welcome to Camp Nightmare! Uh, looks like we might have a werecat to go with the werewolf. A seasonal event has arrived in Horror Town. Complete the exclusive collection before time ends. Okay, yeah, standard stuff. There is a few new items that I could put down. Yeah, I, I already have Walter's house from the uh, Halloween event. Let's see if I can get this unlocked. Not quite yet, and even if I did, it would take a while, so... <laughs> this is the one problem when you spend so much time in this game. You end up having a lot of stuff to manage. Granted, I could have taken care of all of this before in the loading screen, but I wanted to show that off a little bit. I know professionalism is not in the cards with me, but... Hey, wait a minute. These weren't... Uh, yet again, more areas are being unlocked. Good. Oh, along with the pirates, I also got this coal mine that I put... Okay, iron mine. 
sorry. Then I put back here with a, another item that I really couldn't put anywhere else with the alien obser observer or whatever. I can't even click on it right now. But I put it back here, used some own walls to help keep this looking a little more organized. I did get a number of different things, such as another gypsy wagon, some other properties that produce items down here, such as the mill for some flour. This produces the rope or the anchor? Oh, caught the wrong one. That's... This ship has got some pirates that you can summon with Long Ben. Yeah. I'll be doing that probably at some point. Yeah, the grapple hook for the pirate shop. There's also some interesting items here that spawn, and Muglani's got some very valuable items that he spawns himself. So I guess uh, let's go into the pack that I bought. Okay, Saber, I'm just going to say that the mask really isn't hiding much. Let's see. Hmm. I think for right now, we'll put the campgrounds over here. And I will move this fencing. You know, if that's not a werewolf, it was awfully close, but it does look like a were-cat. I just don't know enough about Goosebumps lore. I love... I love the TV series, and as I said before, I never read the books, but... Doing this helps me feel like I'm connecting to that part of my childhood that I never was able to explore. My lord, there's a lot here. Well... Let's put down everything. I'm surprised to see that much of an expansion. I wasn't away from it for that long. They must have just dropped all that. Okay, let's see what other wonderful things I've got. Berry bush. Beast statue and campfire. Nice. Hmm. <sighs> oh, nice, it's animated. Well, I suppose that's animated, too. I just haven't seen flames animated yet. And I will get to the quest as soon as I set down the items. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the beast. Wait! He's not the beast from the east, is he? Huh. Let's see. If he is the beast from the east, I guess the easternmost part of the map would not be so bad of a spot. At least an area near there. Eh, I'll keep it with everything else. And dried food stand. Hmm. Hello. Something else to investigate. Let's put the stand right here. That looks like a good spot for it. Oh, dang it. I saw something else here. Let's get a closer look. Eh. Uh, okay. Out. Ah, uh, that's different. Oh, stop that. So now, bat pine cones are the new chest. Okay. Well, let's see what other items we have. Some new... Oh, got amateur hour right now. There's one great place to go to find all those new items, and it's right here. Okay, got some tents. Good lord! 
A scout statue is that much? Camping entrance, barbecue grill, camping grounds. Goodness, that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna need a much bigger area for this. You know what? Stay tuned instead of wasting a little more of your time. I'm going to get some of this stuff set up and I will be right back. Just for you, it'll just be a second for me. It'll probably be an eternity. Back in a moment. I decided I could turn off my fan for a little bit. I'm a bit frustrated right now, because what you don't know is shortly after I came back from a little break that I took to purchase some items, lay some... some... Uh, okay. The whole plan was I'd start the video and then I would stop so that I could purchase some stuff and lay down the campsite, which I did do that. I came back. I continued the recording. And just as I was getting towards the end of the recording, my computer blue screened. So I lost all of the footage that I was going to show you, including the explanation as to why Saber has a mask. So now I'm going to have to just tell you what you missed and try to be quick about it in hopes that my computer won't go down again. So here's what you missed. I did lay down a whole bunch of items. Specifically, I laid down bushes, both the berry and ivy bushes in my garden area that I set up here. I wanted to have like a public area. I'm not sure why. Hold on a sec. My OCD is triggered. I set up a nice little garden area here because it was a great way of showing off the flora and fauna that the artists at Pixel had worked so hard to get right for this game. And even if they're modest and say they didn't work that hard on it, this still looks gorgeous. And it's because of the hard work they did. And I felt that instead of just having the bushes out and about in this area, I would add them as part of the garden area. And I think they fit in great. I'll even add another ivy bush later. The campgrounds consists of a few different tents, some of them old, some of them really old. A few logs here for sitting in... Wait a minute. Oh no. No, 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 no. Something's wrong. Where is it? Oh, it is there. What I had just clicked on was supposed to be the fire. Oh, boy. Let's see if I can get that so I can show you. Oh. If it's not me being poor at communicating effectively, it's my computer deciding to... Chop off my legs from under me. <laughs> Lovely. Did I just pass by? Oh. What am I thinking? The easiest way to find it is through this. And even then, I don't remember if they actually showed it here. There's supposed to be a campfire. No. And must be one of those unique items. Hang on a sec. Maybe if I do this. There we go. Yeah. That fixed it. Oh yeah, you also missed, uh... Oh jeez, did I really forget his name? Walter. Walter was going to cook some burgers and decided kebabs were better. I don't know why. Uh, also, it turns out that, uh... Okay, this is gonna get confusing. Seder 
the guy who runs the shop here is on good terms with Saber, the beast from the east. Saber is actually a fairly shy beast and doesn't like getting involved in other people, but uh, Sader decided to give him a mask and asked him to put it on to see if it would help him feel a little more comfortable around people. So he decided to put it on and decided it actually does feel a bit uh, soothing. That's the right word for it. And he has actually tried to make friends with Dustin to be a camping buddy. And right now he's just stargazing on that picnic blanket. I even moved the shop out of the way to show he was doing this. Thing is, I moved that during the video that got destroyed in the last attempt, so that's unfortunate. I even enjoyed going over the campgrounds here. The mess hall has got some wonderful new items that you can make, which, honestly, I give props to the artist. These look great. I would love having that. <laughs> I have a weakness for peanut butter cookies, among many other things, like bacon and Mountain Dew. And I just love how well they capture how good this stuff can look. And in case you're wondering, that's Lard. And let me see if I can get her, as Marg, to do her animation again. Because you have got to see this to believe it. Oh, 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 there it is. Cook a stew. Let's make sure she's in a good clearing, though. Because you, you're going to want to... Ow! Don't do that. Wrong button. Quickly now. Before she gets to the tree. Yeah, we got it. Victory. Yeah, she doesn't go home and make a stew. She lights a fire, puts a, a cauldron out, and cooks this medieval style right there on the sidewalk. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's Ben Long. Oddly enough, he is not, he fits right in in this town. I, I guess people just kind of accept that. Also, can we point out how huge everyone is compared to things like vehicles and buildings? I mean, some of these don't seem so bad, but take a closer look at how big these people are in comparison to the food trucks here, including the peanut van. But yes, I bought that. These people are enormous. How do they fit into these houses? Okay, uh, was there something else? Yeah, Dustin's gullible as ever. I could not believe he just... So he, he saw... Oh, gosh. Uh, Saber. He saw Saber with the mask on and said, You're not like other kids. And yes, I, I'm not. And Dustin goes, Yeah, you're kind of big, but we can be friends. It's just like, really? This is why Lucy has to be around him all the time. Oh, uh, something else I didn't mention is, I would actually like it if they could include dirt paths as an option not just the road but a dirt path so you could have different kind of road variations i think that would be nice it would also be great if you could have like a stone brick so that you could have a path going up to a house not as wide as the road something simpler just to kind of add a little extra oh wait Oh, no. There's a car missing. Oh, no, it's not missing. I, I, sorry. Uh, back on subject. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had a car here with the lips in front of it. It looked goofy and ridiculous, and I loved it. I forgot I moved the car. But, yeah, I would like them to implement paths like this, because I would like it if 
we could do stuff like this in game is just change the ground that it's sitting on because I'd love to make this area here sand I'd love to make this a bit different here so that there's a bit more greenery in the garden area I know it's probably asking a lot but still I like to push my luck and this is a great game that the creators have put a lot of effort into so you know maybe they will uh, let's see here oh First group of campers. Oh boy. Oh. Encouragement to plant flowers and bushes? Yes, ma'am. Or, sir, I actually don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are how much? Yeesh. Bushes cost a lot. Among the many phrases I have said throughout the course of this game and these videos that I gotta say, once again, never thought I'd say it. It's weird how video games make you say things you never even conceived. You know what, let's just sell that. I can get another one later. <sighs> Honestly, try making videos like this. See how many things you say that you never thought you'd say in a million years. Or longer. Now then. The Forbidden Bunker. Where all the beasts are. Huh. Didn't expect to get that many acorns so quickly. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but seeing them with the brown fur, they if they had long bushy tails, these would be were squirrels. I don't mean to knock on the design, but can you imagine big fluffy tails on these guys? You know what? Hang on a sec. If I can, I will show you. Bam! There! And actually, I'm glad that they've got a few different beasts, but I wonder if there could have been other creatures they could have used, but I'll take what I can get. And if I can get a computer that doesn't crash on me, I'll be grateful. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to speak about. Oh, yes! I wanted to go through and see what new animations people have. Because with every new event, there's new animations. And I think there's quite a few characters. We already saw that Ms. Marg creates a stew. Okay, there's a few different ones for Dustin. Nice. Oh, actually, let's put him to... Oh. Ah! Oh! Oh, they just had to do that. Well, I'd like to finish this video before I have a conniption fit over my current hardware. Ah, there's Dustin. I always love ending a video either having characters do something or having the monster... You know, I understand why, but seriously, Dustin, I'm going to ask it anyway. Why there? Why on the sidewalk? Okay, got Ms. Marg making lard. 
don't know that Sharon would have anything, but I do like either ending on monsters going about or having people just perform some tasks. Do some outdoor activities. Okay, we'll go back to there a little later. Let's see. Oh yeah, there are some things that I could have got, uh, like the skate ramp. I chose not to get that because it was way too expensive for me right now. Uh, actually, let me just go over some of the items that you won't be seeing here. Because I haven't put them down yet. There's some tents and some other camping equipment, but that scout statue is way too much. I want to get the camping grounds. Already got the camping stage. I want the totem for sure. This would be more appealing if it was Dwayne Johnson. I'm just saying. Okay, I got the... I, I do want the rappel ropes. I want the supervisor's tent. The climbing rock, definitely going to have to get that. Uh, director's tent? I would like to get that. I would like to get those. But that one statue, not really interested in. At some point, I have to stop asking questions. But really, this is your idea of an outdoor, outdoor activity. Okay, enough of that. Get back on track. Oh. If you have to add an uh in front of the word trust, it's kind of diminishing the meaning of the word, and I wouldn't trust you. <sighs> I don't know why people would speak with uh. I, I just don't like it when people try to say a sentence and they continue it with uh or break it up with uh. It's so annoying! I mean, I... Wait a minute. Isn't this... I think this is what... Oh. Oh. Oh, my heart stopped a moment. I just remembered. I had Ms. Morg do this. And that's when my screen went blue. Uh. Oh yeah, she goes crazy for peanut butter. And children's flesh. Surprising how close those two are to her. Okay. Oh god. You know this kid's going to have something to do with those peanut butter cookies. Okay. I was wrong. Huh. That's kind of shocking, actually. I thought he and Emily would be involved. Don't think the mayor would be, though. But then again, what do I know? Just trying to see who has what. I would really like it if all of the characters had something they could do on these events, but that's a lot of work to put into this. Please, in a future update, make it so the gray clothed people do not block the main characters. Please. Hmm. I should have enough for that. <sighs> that tune's stuck in my head now. 
Okay, let's see what he does. Uh, the chair prank? Okay, now I'm intrigued. Show us, Andrew Craw, what is the chair prank? You know, he moves awfully slow for a ghost. Oh, he puts his head on the chair. Kind of underwhelming, but I'll take it. Well, the firefighter is not going to have anything. Why couldn't you have him dress up as Smokey the Bear and make sure that kids are being safe at the fire pl uh, uh, campfire? The fireplace? Why is it recording these videos I immediately lose the ability to use words? Okay, what was that? I heard that sound before. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. I just know it means that something happened. Oh yeah! I, I, did I... Well, I did mention that in the first one, I think. About the Mughlani. Minor glitches. I'm okay. Just seeing who's got anything to do. Uh, I really doubt she would. Actually, Will, do you have anything? I would be very... Oh, dang it. I would have been very interested to see if Will had anything to do, because I would like to see him uh, like have some kind of interaction with the beast from the east. Uh, oh, You know, I, I think I'm just going to call it. Uh, it's getting pretty hot in my room, and I don't know how much longer before my computer is going to just decide it's going to stop working. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry it's not as good as it could have been. I really got thrown off my game today. So, until next time, this has been Goosebumps Horror Town Event Spotlight. I hope you enjoyed, and good night.